with our band Basardi um, as part of an uh, exchange between the British Council, the South African uh, Department of Art, Culture and the Gauteng Art Department. They selected us to represent South Africa in London, playing music from South Africa. They represent <laughs> Wow. There's a tune that I can hear coming up now. Can you name this tune? Play it for us. Play. Play the tune for us, please. Play now. Unfortunately, I left my now. ring in the room. So so I this is the next song. Oh, it's the called song Silent that Night. my husband All sang right, for me. Tell me, how did when you guys come together? To yeah. And That's I was group. impressed. Yes, it's, called, it's very silent. <laughs> <laughs> silent tune. Yes. How did so you guys get together as a group? If by any chance you're planning to go to South oh, Africa well, you guys and you want a woman there, you better know this song. Three years ago, it made a music. And just impress the girl. So we just thought that let's try this. How many eyes? How many eyes? Well, it's the six of us. Six of you went right. on, the other guys are... If you are don't know the song, I'm right right. so, sleeping at the moment. And I teach you the song. <laughs> sleeping? They should be <laughs> here representing. <laughs> I hope you're not sleeping in London. <laughs> so you guys met at Mega Music. Were you rehearsing or what were you doing there? Yeah, we were rehearsing. They were rehearsing and I was walking fast and they needed then a drummer. So I auditioned and now I've ended up playing bass guitar. Mm -hmm. And the part is on the flute. And we one of the only all-woman jazz bands in Africa. Wow, this is exciting, isn't it? Now, you know, the, um, there's another group which also played, uh, it was a ladies only jazz, I think it was called Chess with the late Nelson Horn and stuff like that. Mm. Do you, Why? but uh, how successful are you guys as a woman, uh, just a, as a ladies only group? Do you find that people come to attend your shows and stuff like that? Oh, yes, they're as very opposed supportive. to, you know, ma male men only. You know, I'm Lots of men, a, men believe it. There's believe a, a man. Lots of men. Wow, this is interesting. So, <laughs> What has been the highlight of your career so far? Well, certainly the Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well played. What's been the highlight? The trip to London, certainly, mm -hmm. and also playing for uh, Mandela. We played at his house in Pretoria, and that, mm -hmm. was a, that was one of the reasons we were chosen to go overseas, because we played at some of these big shows in okay. South Africa. All right. Good. Thank you so much. But now I'm going to say a word, and the first one to press their buzzer has to sing a bit of a song with that word in it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So when I say CT, you sing something that has Yeah, to a song that we all will recognize. Yeah. Jazz. You do. Yeah. Jazz. Yeah. Sing okay. a song with a new, that's got a name, Jazz. Jazz. And all that jazz. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember that song? And all that jazz. Yeah, it ah. was by, it was by, yes, it was by Sammy Davis Jr. It was by Sammy Davis Jr., but you don't get the point, I'm sorry. All right, don't get the point. All right, no sing point. another song with the name, Woman. I'm every woman. It's, it's all about me. Hey! Yes. Right. Another song with the word summertime. Summertime! <laughs> <laughs> Applause! And the feeling is insane. All right, guys, now if I want to listen to your music, hear you play live, where would I go this week or in the near future? Where should I go? Well, we're doing mainly corporate stuff. We're traveling around the country at the moment, doing shows in Cape Town, Durban, PE. We mm -hmm. do a lot of big business things, so you'd have to sort of travel with us and be a roadie or a groupie or something. Mm -hmm. But yes, I would sure. let you know, Makeup artist there's some of the members. Who are, what are the names of the, of the other members who are not here? OK, Aniki Masondai, she's on drums. Mm -hmm. Nola Mula, she's on piano. Mm -hmm. Zanele is on clarinet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But now, how has this affected your personal lives, your relationships? I mean, you guys, like you say, you're always on the road. How's that affected you, friend? Well, it's very difficult um, being on the road all the time from the family. Also, I do a lot of football stuff, so I have to juggle the two together. Mm -hmm. You're the coach? Yeah. Big. I knew I knew her. You know, <laughs> she came here to the Toasty Show one night. She said, Manana, Manana, coach! <laughs> Great stuff. Man, I knew you were human. Yeah, right, all right, all right, all right. You heard that. <laughs> My bad, too. Well, your bo do you have a boyfriend? Or do you have somebody special in your life? Yeah. And how and does that person cope? Well, well, he's right next to me, so I don't <laughs> have to complain about that. But, OK, mm, it, it doesn't affect me very much, mm -hmm. you know. Of and course. Yeah, yeah, you know, but Anything the only thing is that I only miss my family being far away, you know, from them. But so you're constantly on the phone and chatting with them. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to ask our contestants? Yes. This is what I'd like to ask our contestants. One simple question. Do these other guys play soccer as well? 
Yeah, they're very good. Eh? Are they? Very good, yeah. Okay, I'm going to be seeing them soon, going like that. Yeah, Coin. Yeah, yeah. okay. Coin. All right. But this is a beautiful thing. Can you imagine? Be a soccer player and a musician at the same time. So what do you see? No, I'm about to score a goal. I'm about to score a goal. You know what? I think we should now hoi and take this opportunity to thank our guests. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And we shall hoi to free, free TV. And the audience is going to welcome. Applause. Thank you very much. You know, one of the advantages of being part of the Toasty Show is that I get to wear Morgan's outfit. Look at the spring fashions. Oh, they're very smart and very sexy. I don't know why they don't use me as their model. Huh? And today's prize, we are giving away a fashion outfit from Morgan. I better go and try on some clothes. You know, I'll go to the one in Hyde Park or maybe the one in Fenty. Hey, oh God. You know, to give today's competition question, who supplies me? with my gorgeous outfits. Hmm? If you know the answer to the question, call us now on 03-910-3399. And I'm a Morgan. It could be yours from something. And if you think you know the answer to that question, you dial 83 910 we gaan zo rustig worden. Ga je maar naar kon eerst af te die sluiten hier door Arianko. Hi Sarah. Email the Toasty Show on toast at toastyshow dot com. We're waiting to hear from you. Okay, so I have to have a practice run, so just behind. I don't have a wig anymore. That thing. Fine. Okay, you can wear my, you can wear this, my, my sweet. I'll no, just but no, like you, if you're gonna, I thought I was going to host it. That's why I had the wig on. Okay, now. I'm sorry. I, I just have to practice. Do you mind? I have to practice for, for when I do the male strippers. Okay, now. It's all done. Okay. It is now time for... What? 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 Right. I want a song and the fastest buzzer will win. Right. I firstly want a bit of a song with the word river in it. There are many rivers to cross. Uh, the winner on this one is City. Thank you. Right. Now, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Are yes. you all right? Okay. The next one I want to song with the word moon. Moonlight and roses. <laughs> but is the song like that? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy no, birthday. No, but yeah, I'm so excited. You saw this one. Oh, man. It's written right here. That is one. You think about it. One last song with the word love. My love. There's only you. Good morning and welcome to the news on E. I'm Fatima Carl, sir. British forces equipped to the rescue mini submarine prepared to sail from Norway this morning in a race to help save the 118 Russian sailors trapped in a nuclear submarine on the bed of the Barents Sea. 
Britain responded rapidly when Russia finally requested outside help yesterday, but there are fears that the rescue team will arrive too late because the journey from Norway will take about 50 hours. The crew of the Kursk, which sank at the weekend, have stopped pounding SOS signals on the hull, but Russian officials say there's still hope they could be alive. British naval experts in the mini-submarine were rushed to the Norwegian port of Trondheim to meet up with a specially equipped ship that is due to ferry them to the scene. Envoys from three European nations and South Africa have headed to the southern Philippine city of Zamboanga today, hoping their nationals will be released by Muslim rebels later. South African officials in Tripoli are confident that the South African couple will be home before the weekend, a confidence further strengthened by the release of a Filipino woman yesterday. South African envoy Ronnie Casseroles is standing by to, re to receive Kali and Monique Stradom when they're freed by the Abu Sayyaf rebels from the hostage camp on the remote southern island of Kholo. The guerrillas released a Filipino hostage yesterday and negotiators say they're optimistic that at least another 12 foreign hostages will be freed today. The UN Security Council expressed its support yesterday for Burundi peace talks that opened in South Africa between leaders of the warring parties. Former South African President Nelson Mandela, who is mediating the talks, was commended for his efforts to end the seven-year-old war between the Tutsi-dominated government and Hutu rebels. Mandela set an August 28 deadline for signing a comprehensive peace agreement, but talks have stalled over who will lead a transitional government and when a ceasefire will take effect. A commuter train has ploughed off the rails in western Kenya, killing 13 people and injuring 36 others. The train, which was travelling between Butere in western Kenya and Kisumu on the shores of Lake Victoria, derailed near the town of Lila last night, with more than 400 people on board. Things were terrible. So the first thing we did, we tried to help our fellow Kenyans. So we jumped inside with my brothers, so we tried to rescue people. Most of the 13 dead had been crushed when four of the train's coaches toppled over. Three of the victims were children. Police said 36 people were injured and 19 admitted to hospital, three of them in serious condition. All the dead and injured were Kenyans, although there might have been some foreigners among the passengers who escaped unscathed. And that brings us to the end of the news. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with a final morning news update at 7.30. Now it's back to the Toasty Show for a look at whether or not. Fine and mild but warm in the low field. Nail spray 7 to 24. Ermelo 4 to 20. Northern Cape will be fine, mild and windy but warm in the north. The coast will be partly cloudy. With Uppington from 7 to 26. Kimberley 2 to 24. Eastern Cape fine in the northeast, otherwise partly cloudy and mild. It will be cloudy along the southern coastal areas with occasional showers. Port Elizabeth. 13 to 21, Grahamstown 9 to 21. My mother But now it's time for us to to give away some prizes. So if you'd like to win this outfit, you know what number to dial. It's happily brought to you and sponsored by Morgan's. It says Mor Morgan's, Morgan's, Morgan's. Uh, uh huh. So if you want to win this, let's find out who's on the line. Hello, who am I talking to? Juanita, hello and welcome. Juanita. Hello, I'm here. How are you, Anita? I'm fine, thanks for yourself. All right, are you ready to toast with us? Yes, I am. All right, do you know the answer now? The question is, who supplies all Zaza's very gorgeous outfits, though? It's Morgan. It's Morgan. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Congratulations, Anita. You just, you've just won yourself this wonderful outfit, and it will be delivered on your doorstep, safe and sound, by Don Wing Couriers. Okay. Are you happy, Anita? I'm extremely happy. Extremely happy. Thanks a lot for watching, okay? Thank you. All right, now it's time for all of us to go to the lounge to make the news. Winnie just made a poo on my shoulder. Check this out. Um, and it's all troubles worse. No, you don't want to show it on the... It's not on purpose. Anyway, it is time to make the news. So, uh, the first thing I want to point out to you, do you remember we had this lady on? This is from... What am I reading? This is Wetton. Mm. Do you know? Yes. Mm. Okay. Show them the picture. Yeah, this is Tim Jolly, yeah? Woman in waiting, yeah. I remember the play. Yeah, she was a wonderful guest on the show. Mm -hmm. So you can still catch that play if you want to. Mm -hmm. 
What do you mean? It's well received at the Market Theatre. And um, I hope it's going to come back and be a bomb because it just, mm. it just stopped. Because I, apparently they went overseas and stuff like that with the director. But it was a powerful and a bomb for sure. Mm. Talking about women, and we have women here in the house. You see, front page of the star goes, hell on earth for the elderly. Okay, elderly people feel that they are abused, neglected, abandoned. All, I'm telling you, this is not groovy because we are all going to get old one day. And this is what Eva and, and Maria says from Alexander. They said, we cannot sleep at night. We cannot sleep at the council. In Alexander, there's always shooting, 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 shooting. They should put a fence around the house so that we can feel protected. Okay? The of, the, the, uh, Eva says, the officials of the government are full of young people. Maybe we should have elderly people who can be there to work for us. Okay? And the other one goes, uh, Lebuha, Ntante Lebuha. We queue for long hours to get our pension. Sometimes we don't even get our money because it's full of corruption and bribery sure. in this government and stuff like that. And I mean, if this is an old people complaining about what's happening here. They are so disappointed in our society. And I don't know why, I mean, what can we do about it, guys? I mean, as the musician, as the artists, as the young people of, of, of South Africa, is there anything that we can do to get this corrected somehow? Yeah, well, I think a lot of the money that they put into the lotto should be mm -hmm. taken to make like villages where mm -hmm. old people could go and live together, mm -hmm. that's secure, um, where they looked after. I think that would be a good starting no, point. No, but uh, in, in a case where, I mean, I, I, I know in my background that elderly women would like to still stick with their families until they die nicely with their families mm -hmm. around them. How, what do you do for those families out there? I mean, and talking about lotto, they haven't paid anything yet. They, I mean, I mean, there's been so many million that went in there, and they said they were giving to charity, and they didn't done anything yet thinking about it. Mm. I, I think we have to question that. But all the message I can say to you young South Africans out there is that you are going to get old one day, and I think it's important that we take care of our elderly people, mm. because that's where we get the wisdom from. And if you want to be good, be good to them. Thank you very much. Another story, but I'm struggling to think straight. Isn't Peter? Tamo. Peter, can you bring me a tissue? When he made a poo on my shoulder. Let's, let's get the, Sorry, get I find it a bit disconcerting trying oh. to read you the news with a poo on my shoulder. Now, last night, apparently, Boom Sharkers, mm -hmm. Lebo, Matosa, and Ringo mm. put on a sizzling performance mm. during the launch of her solo album Intro, and this was at a function held at the Pyramid in Johannesburg. Mm. I just want to show you her outfit. If you can have a look at it. Is she not saying? It's the most stunning gold. I was outfit. talking to her. She came here to the house. I was talking to yes, her. Yes, you were flirting with her. You were talking with her. You were anyway, and, and I didn't go to the thing because I was not invited. The poo on my shoulder. Or I was. Somebody decided not to take me there. Sharp. Okay, there's another big story. I'm a Pogo Pogo. They've got a huge sponsorship. About 75 million, over 75 million rands for over four years. But guess what? All the oldies, you know, all the old guys of Mapopo, they're complaining. And guess what they're complaining about? About their jersey. You know why? Because it's got a huge castle here. <laughs> I'm sorry, the castle is a sponsorship. <laughs> castle Lager is sponsoring them. And they, they, for the branding, they put their huge name here. But no, they're complaining. Nike is giving a lot of money. No, they're complaining. Why are you complaining when you've got so much money? You're going to get paid for the next four years. What do you complain? Shut up and give us and win the games, Maybe you they people. Maybe they don't like beer. Well, um, you, rugby <laughs> players, no beer. Yes, they should win. win. That's all we need. Stop complaining. You're getting money. Do you, okay. Are you guys motorists? Yeah, do you I'm drive cars? We well, then I want to warn you. The Weather Bureau in Pretoria issued a warning to motorists in the northern province yesterday to drive cautiously as mist and fog patches will continue in the morning until next week. So there's going to be fog. Drive carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else can I, can I say now? What, what, what do I, okay, fine. There's Miss Teen SA for Impumalanga this time. It's happening on the 9th of, of September in Impumalanga, Graceland Casino in Secunda on Saturday. So you gotta be there and go and see some beautiful uh, sweaty girls and great girls. Maybe we should take Pusha there. Yeah, we should. Maybe yeah. that's not a bad idea. Yeah. In fact, I'll ask my producer to take us there yeah. and see those little beautiful kiddos. Sharp, moving along. Moving along, much, uh, a lot is happening actually. Yeah. A lot of musers. What's mm -hmm. this I see here? Mm -hmm. Oliver? How do you say Oliver's surname? Oliver Ntuguzi. 
Well, anyway, yeah. if you want to watch Channel O tonight, he is on. He looks fantastic. Okay, only from Tukuz is on Channel O. Thank you very much. That has to be reported on a newspaper. Oh, my goodness. Are you being mean to me? No, I'm sorry, but I'm saying, how did they write it there? Only from Tukuz is on Channel O. We know that. Well, oh, maybe, man. Oh, well, what about this? Most men seem to be in denial. What has happened to the love between black men and black women? Asked this dude. Mm. And he says it's ridiculous. There's no thrill anymore. But I that, think uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry for the people who know me, and uh, this is, is it's Sandy Lememela who's just said that. Let's go groove. Should we go groove rather? Okay, why don't you groove? Yeah, Mendoza. Huh? Oh. It's even Enjoy Tolaga John Telecordes with Catalani. some male strippers and of course more what but what the toasty show then dial 083 910 3344 <laughs> Toaster show, I guarantee you, you've never seen anything like it. The presenters, hoy. We're creative. This is what my mother designed with a keen interest in the news. But it's time to go to the news. Oh, our interviews are always intelligent. Do you know any Beatles songs? And we lose integrity. What? Nothing is for free, hey? No, no, no. no. So, for something really politically correct to get you going in the morning, Yo, but give, me, give us money then, man. Watch the Toasty Show from 6 to 8 every morning and be the real winner. my favorite actors right Kevin Spacey there's a new movie coming out with him and it is called Ordinary Decent Criminal now this is starting on the 18th of August at new Metro theaters of course now I don't know if you, if you still don't know who he is have you not seen seven have you not seen American Beauty or the usual suspect Kevin Spacey is brilliant so I think we should check out he plays the head of a gang and he's a thief and he just wants to rob so let's see what he does now, there you have it. I love him. I love him, Kevin Spacey. So it's called Ordinary Decent Criminal starting on August the 18th. Right now, if you want to know what are your chances of getting some money from a casino, check this out. Tip of the day. The odds are good, especially if they are a casual player. The, they will vary a bit on slots and tables, dependent on uh, which game they're playing and on slots which game time. The tables is very much the skill of the game, on slots there's various game types. Most people that have won the million rand uh, banks that we have, they've played 50 rand or less when they've had a win. 
and they've walked away with over a million. So they are excellent. <laughs> It is time for, the, for, for us to sing along, and we've got two beautiful women here mm -hmm, from Women of Jazz. So today, whoever is competing, you should know that our judges are these two beautiful women, and they know a lot about music. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tabo, do you want to introduce our first caller? Do you know who that first is? caller, hello. Mfundo. Mfundo. Hello, Mfundo. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Are you ready to sing? Sing along. Not just not sing alone, to sing along. Okay? <laughs> Don't sing alone. Are you ready for us? Yeah. All right. Um and the name of the song is Kwasa Kwasa by Alpha and All Stars. Let's get the sing. Sing okay. along, please. No sting. Good, good. Mfundo, thank you so much. And Let's see off. what the judges say. One, one. One, one it's a two. Mfundo. Mfundo is two. No, but it's supposed to be a third person judge. Okay, fine. Third two. person. No. Two. All right. Two for you, Mfundo. Enjoy your two. Okay, no. Charles, are you ready? Are you there? Charles? Yeah. Who are you? Are you cool? Yeah. Are you ready? Mm. All right. Let's hear what you say. <laughs> Again. Take it away, please. Hey. Hello, 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 Tele. And the score is. And the score it's is. A seven, and a twelve. Yes, a twelve. Woo. Charlie. Yeah. Did you go for music classes, Wena, before? Have you been for music classes? Like I don't know. Are you happy, Charlie? Yeah. You don't sound very excited. Hey, like, are you still happy or something? What do you? Hold on, he can actually sing this thing in his drum, in his bird, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? Charlie! Yes. How many mugs have you got so far? What? How many coffee mugs have you got so far? Uh, three. You got three? Yeah. Is this your third today or your fourth? Yeah, third day. It's the third one. You know after ten, how many, what you get? Uh-uh. You get a toasty t-shirt. Okay. All right, so you better sing well. You better keep up the good work, okay? Okay. And those guys, ba ba ba, was all about doing them. We go to show, but they all lost. We're about to have a chance. We're about to have a million zero. But we're not blind. Be in and done. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Thank you very much. All right. Well, Samuel and I will take all your details, but now I think we need a break, don't we? Yeah, don't I think we need a break. We need a break. Yeah. We need a break. Man, these guys have been working, man. But let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. let's go. let's go outside and have some break or something. You have a Whoa. wild talent that you want to show off on TV? Dial 083 910 3344 and leave your contact details. <laughs> Show and of course we are playing. Put 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 with your host CT Kadebe. Welcome back. It's another round of my now my new game show. It's me happening here. Yeah, why do you have, why do you have a whole title and it's yeah, screaming all fancy like that? Well, uh, okay, what's my name? CT. Thank you very much. You've answered the question. My name is CT. That is why I have it. Hey, And I've got this. No, someone's saying to me. Oh, I must talk to Big Little about this. Well, well, what about? You've got the whole fancy thing. Yeah. Like no, 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 no. Guys, relax. Nothing. You must learn to relax. Your problem is that you, you like chickens and beds and stuff like that and feathers. That's the problem. I don't like that. I like girls. That's why I want to speak to girls. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome back again. Thank you. Right. Now, the first question I'll ask you, I mean, I don't know if he asked you before, but because I was supposed to ask you questions anyway. How did this start? This Basari group. Oh. I'm sorry. No one is buzzing. I'm sorry, you're cute. Okay. Are they off? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so we've got a technical problem. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll just hold them to cold. No. <laughs> Yes, they are not working. We're going to hear them. <laughs> right. <laughs> How did you start Basari? Well, we met three years ago, me and Frank. Yeah? Mega Music. So uh, we were looking for a drummer. Apparently, Leon, who is our manager now, yeah. yeah, he suggested that there's a lady that she knows that she can bring along. Mm. So she came with Frank. All right. I'm going to ask you this question. But now I'm going to ask you because now we don't have the buzzers anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to sing a note. Then I know I have, you have to answer the question. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll see. 
Okay. Ma, now, I'll, I'll start with you, okay? And you can answer as well, but just sing it out, okay? Have you always wanted to sing, or was it just uh, an interest that just developed when you're older? No, I always wanted to sing. Not E, friend, not E. Oh! That's it. You can answer the question. Something I, more like that. No, I've always wanted to sing. Since always wanted to sing? Young, yeah. But then you and then your involvement in soccer. How did that come about? Well, I was started playing when I was young. I was the only uh -huh. girl in the area with boys, so mm -hmm. we lived on a farm. So I played soccer, mm -hmm. and then I got into music when I was young. My parents are musical, so right. I started playing music and singing and playing various instruments. And now in the span, I'm playing bass guitar. Uh -huh. And my about to play flute, which flute. is not common for. Yeah, but that, but 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 that, but that. yeah, thank you. And I'm about to tell me, how, how did you get into it? I mean, what's your interest Well, I kid? started, like, when I was a kid. My daddy used to be a musician, so he's the one who insisted that, I, mm -hmm. you know, I play an instrument. Mm -hmm. So basically, I took it as in my career. All right. Yeah. That's groovy. Let's continue the game again. I say a word, you sing a, word, you, you sing a song. Okay. And my first word is, hat. Take your head off. What's that song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can leave your head on. Oh, yeah. You can leave your head on. Take anything else off. Oh, boy. Okay. The next one for Mabato is sing. The word sing. Sing. Sing a song. Light of my life. To be free. That's me and my girl, eh? Yeah. <laughs> For you, my dearest, fly. fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. You can't like this audience. I think about it every night, every day. Spread our wings and fly away. I believe I can fly. My boy, my Macy boy. That was boy. Good, good, man. You can sing. I guess very. You're more on the most. Insensitive. Insensitive. <coughs> get a slap, get a slap if you miss this one. Insensitive. No, no idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. You've been insensitive no. to me. Tabo. No, no, no way. No way. <laughs> Is impossible. Impossible hey. to live with you, but I know I could never live without you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible for me to go to Cape Town whenever there is news, but I know I'm gonna have to do it <laughs> at some point. But we'll be back with some water <laughs> point in no time at all and chow now. So why don't we just go to Cape Town and get some groovy news? I would say don't give up your day job, but <laughs> good morning and welcome to this morning's final news bulletin. It's now 7.30 and I'm Fatima Karsa. British forces equipped to the rescue mini submarine prepared to sail from Norway this morning in a race to help save 118 Russian sailors trapped in a nuclear submarine on the bed of the Barents Sea. Britain responded rapidly when Russia finally requested outside help yesterday, but there are fears that the rescue team will arrive too late because the journey from Norway will take about 50 hours. The crew of the Kursk, which sank at the weekend, have stopped pounding SOS signals on the hull, but Russian officials say there's still hope they could be alive. British naval experts and the mini-submarine will rush to the Norwegian port of Trondheim to meet up with a specially equipped ship that is due to ferry them to the scene. Bad weather over the southern Philippines has forced a delay in the release of foreign hostages held by Muslim rebels to Friday. Filipina hostage Lucretia Dablo is part of the group of hostages who were held for almost four months on Hola Island, and she's been released. But now there's been another delay. Chief negotiator Roberta Aventajada was due to have flown to the southern island of Holo along with a key Libyan envoy to bring back the dozen hostages held by Abu Sayyaf rebels for almost four months. He says fresh efforts will now be made on Friday. 
Britain and France will hold talks today about the future of their Concorde airliners. The supersonic jets are now grounded due to safety concerns after last month's crash of an Air France plane which killed 113 people. The meeting was announced earlier this week by French Transport Minister Jean-Claude Guesseau. The London talks are expected to be attended by government and air safety officials from both countries. The only two operating the sleek Anglo-French airliner that whisked the rich and famous across the Atlantic at twice the speed of sound for a quarter of a century. Air safety officials said yesterday that a chunk of rubber from a burst tyre was the likely cause of last month's crash when the Air France Concorde caught fire on takeoff and slammed into a hotel just outside Paris. The suspended head of the Civil Aviation Authority has reacted strongly to allegations by the independent investigation panel that his license was wrongly issued. The irregularities came to light when a pilot alleged that questionnaires for pilots' licenses were being sold by employees of the CAA. John Morrison from the independent investigation panel says Abrams took a practical flight exam but did not take the theory test. Abrams will stay suspended until the criminal case is over. Advisor, a man who had been in charge of the civil aviation for 30 years in terms of what I did. I did have a FAA instrument uh, rating and this was one of the courses that he set and he moderated and supervised my licensing. So I don't feel that I did anything untoward or wrong. And that's the end of the news. Thank you for joining us. Now it's goodbye from me and the crew here in Cape Town and back to Johannesburg where Tabo is doing the weather on the Toasty Show. Have yourself a great day. Thank you very much, Fatima. I agree with you. He shouldn't give up his day job at all. Jana mahatur tar bonyong korbusi de jang na kabu par. Rita simula jana ka khauteng. Khauteng will be fine and mild, but warm in the north. Pretoria 4 to 24, Johannesburg 2 to 21. KwaZulu Natal will be partly cloudy along the south coast at first. Otherwise, fine and mild, but warm along the north coast. Durban 13 to 22, Richards Bay 9 to 26. The Western Cape will be cloudy and cold around the south coast and adjacent interior with light rain, otherwise it will be fine and mild. Cape Town 11 to 17, Fredendal 5 to 21. But now I think we should get ourselves ready to go and eat for Chow Now. Hello, Gail. Chow Now. We ready. We'll be ready. Gail, thank you and welcome again to our show. Thank You've been you. a regular here. What are we eating today? Today I'm making an open sandwich, which mm -hmm. we call the classic combo. The it's, classic combo. Yeah. The, okay. the main ingredients are mm. bacon and yeah. mushrooms. Bacon and mushrooms. Oh, That's yeah. all you need. Uh, a little bit well, more. the main ingredients. The main ingredients. What yeah. else do we need for this? We're going to use some um, cream cheese. I'm going to say, what kind of bread is there? This is Portuguese bread. Can't I use just normal? I bread suppose you can, but. Portuguese bread is nice because it's soft. Okay. When you've toasted it, it remains soft on the inside. Is the cottage cheese that you use? This is cottage cheese Smooth or cream not cheese, chunky? not chunky, okay. no. Any particular reason for that? Um, it's. I prefer the taste. Of the, of the smooth to the, I, I the, 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 the chunky one. Yes. You can use chunky if you want. Okay. And what else do we need to make Okay, so I'm going to spread that on. Combo. That's right. I just ooh, want to ooh, cook ooh. the mushrooms while we about it. I'm going to put some seasoning on. Okay. And the mushrooms have to Let cook very on. quickly. You must be careful when you cook mushrooms that you don't overcook them That's because right. otherwise they go yeah, soggy so, and yeah. black. Mm, so, so while we... Is the stove on here? Is it, it is oh, on, yes. yeah. Let's just turn it up a bit. Okay. Okay. okay and so uh, we're just going to let them cook. So now I've put that on and I'm going to overlap it slightly so that it ends up being very big. Okay, is that why you put the bread at an angle? Yeah. Okay. And so then what I'm else, just what, going to that? sprinkle Green some... Peppers. No, oh, no, spring, spring, spring onions. onions. Okay. Just a few, otherwise it becomes very overpowering. Okay. Let's just see if they're done. This is like a, you know, like a sandwich. When, when, when's the best time to have such a meal? sandwich. This you could have for a nice lunch. Mm -hmm. Or if you didn't want a very heavy meal in the evening. That's right. You could have this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put If you're vegetarian, what could you substitute the bacon with? You could put um, asparagus on. Okay. It's actually very nice with asparagus. All right. Or you could put um, spinach. You could put peppers. Whatever you wanted, but asparagus is a nice option. That's right. Okay, so I'm mm. spreading the bacon. It's nice and crispy. Yes, it looks beautiful. 
And so, um, let's, see. let's see what else. You, what other okay. ingredients have you got there? Of cheddar and mozzarella. Mo okay. Um, makes it a little bit healthier and it doesn't, it's not too oily. And either. the other green stuff? That's parsley, just parsley. to garnish, and some mayonnaise okay. to give it a tang. All right, again, we shall come back to you later and see how our food is cooking. But okay. for now, it's time for the Great Big Plug Award. The Great Big Plug Award. Time for the Great Big Plug. Today, competing and taking up a challenge is Warren Lazel, <laughs> and he is competing against Siti Radebe. Yeah, now, I'm, I'm trying to get okay. Bolt to be the third competitor, but Bolt is a bit um, annoyed with me after chasing him the entire morning. So I think that's a foul, a definite foul. He's not competing. Now, you understand, you can get a chance to plug your business for 30 seconds on live TV if you win. Yeah. The challenge today, people, we have got three bowls. Well, Bolt is not doing his, but anyway. So we're gonna see who can get the most ketchup or tomato sauce or whatever's in these pots into the bowl in one minute flat. Now, do you understand the rules I clearly? Do, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Okay, go! <laughs> Stop. Hey! I'll mm. wait for you. Oh. You must, you must win! <laughs> bolt! Bolt! Norman. You're putting me in a bad light here. Come on. Oh, here we bolt. go. I've won. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think we need any time because I think <laughs> it is clear that we have a winner here. You want some? I'm a bit disappointed in my chicken. Oh, you want some? I wonder if someone has been chilling here. Yeah. And I'm sure that the plug today goes to Siti Radebe, so he can wear it on his show. No time up, you lost. Can okay, I put it now, up for you? Okay. Thank you look at much. these lovely Amazing items that uh, Warren brought over here. Uh, Warren, Yes. I think you should come join me over here. All right. Now, since you are the winner, we're going to find you a camera. I think this one right over there. Right. Now, when I say go, you have 30 seconds exactly. I will hold up your manuals to a camera so that you can see that as well. Are uh -huh. you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, what do you think? Oh. I'm Warren from the Hyde Cottage Restore. I restore antique furniture. I have pieces, for example, like this of made basically in 1980 and 1881. And uh, these are just some of the pictures that I work. You can call me on 683 7798. And I will restore, just give me a call, anything that you have, I can fix it, no matter what it is, I can fix it for you. And... Uh, You've got another five seconds. Five seconds. Um, no, you may not sit on that one, it's very old. <laughs> uh, it was basically everything to do with antiques, really, building it, rebuilding, repolishing, uh, getting it really fixed up so it's that new. Was, okay. That was brilliant. So, now you know all about Warren. I think but the number, he... do you have a number? Yeah, he gave the number. Do you want to repeat again? it once more? Again. You can call me at 683-7798, Warren. Warren. Warren, now you know, he's the man. Right now, Thank guys, you. take a break. Well Thank done. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you you very can much. write to the Toasty Show at Toasty Show, P.O. Box 113, Highlands North, 2037, Johannesburg. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to concentrate. They say that they can't pin their name tags, so I will just call them Charlie 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Of course, our individuals. These are the members of the group called Ecstasy. Welcome, welcome to our show. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, you are used to um, performing as a group, but today you are competing as individuals. Of course, this is the grand prize. It is two slippers. Now, these buzzers, I believe, are not working. Let's just ch uh, test it. They are not working. So, if you want to be fast on the buzzer, instead of doing the light now, you are going to go la or la or whatever note you can hit. Okay, I, I can't really sing. All right. So, if you quick, you go give me a la, and then I'll give you the opportunity to answer. Now, are you ready? Do you understand the rules clearly? The first question is, 
What can you win in put for put? A, a pair of slippers, or B, a pair of slippers? Long, long, okay, you, long. You've got catch, Charlie catch, one. Catch, catch. One and two pairs of slippers. Oh, uh, brilliant. Are you good? Let's catch fast. Let's catch fast. Now, the second question, gentlemen. Are you getting a slight sweat on the upper lip? No. Because you really want to say it. You're not. Okay. We want to know, what do women love best about your show? No. Uh, <laughs> Charlie, do. I think um, it's the entertainment side of it. Our show's got a lot of dancing, singing. It's an all-round cabaret show. I think that's what they appreciate in it. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 get a point. Get a point. Are you keeping? Are you keeping? I'm, I'm keeping the score. Keeping the score. Okay, because this is tough competition. I'll check it. Anyway, good. Now, question number three. Are you ready? Who is the best-looking guy in the popular male stripper group uh, Ecstasy? No. Must be me. <laughs> Charlie Four, what is actually your real name? Matt. Matt. Now you know. Matt is the Matt. best looking. Matt, yes. By far. Okay. And the youngest. No. And the youngest. <laughs> and the newest. And the newest. He's got youth on his side. What can you say? Now, question number four. Tell us what kind of functions Ecstasy perform at. Da, da. La, la, la. <laughs> Our main uh, bragging point would be Sun City. We did Super Bowl the Wednesday, Ladies' Day. Ooh. First time ever in the country in 10 years ever has any group ever appeared at Sun City Super Bowl. Otherwise, functions, solos, uh, corporate events. Kitchen uh, teas. Kitchen teas. <laughs> clubs, obviously, our normal thing. And um, I would say uh, the, the launches show. of new products. And the toasties. Show. And toasties. <laughs> Okay, because I want an answer from you. Right. Can each of you, or the one who's now going to go, hmm, tell us what your daytime job is, if you have one? During the day, I'm actually a sales representative. Um, I work for Glassfit in Randburg, mm. and um, I'm just a people's orientated person, and that's what I do in my daily job. Now, uh, Charlie Three, uh, who are you? <laughs> my name's Mark. <laughs> Mark, do you wear clothes when you do your day job? It depends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Mark is a naughty one, but take that mic away. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, okay, now. Name some of the countries Ecstasy has performed in. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I'm going to do Let's go, hoi, hoi, Thank you. Right, hi, my name is uh, Jay, and um, <laughs> we've, we've danced in Portugal and Spain, mainly in Europe. Um, we, we're trying to get uh, some more venues, mainly like in, in Europe, like London and so on, but Portugal and Spain, we've done a lot of work there, and it's been phenomenally su successful. Very good. Charlie Five, who are you? Jay. Hand up for Jay! <laughs> Thank you very much. My assistant here with the mic. Mm -hmm. Now, we're almost coming to the end, so you better be quick if you want to win. Do you have that now? That you've got a point got there? I've got it. You've got it. You have to be. Mm. Now, <coughs> name the best juggler in ecstasy. Duh. Duh. Ah, duh, duh, duh. Depends what you're juggling. <laughs> <laughs> what do you juggle? How does it vary? What different things? A few balls, um, <laughs> fire. <laughs> who's, the, <laughs> who's, the, who's the best fire juggler? We juggle girls. And the best uh, ball juggler? Uh, deep jay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the clock is ticking. We better get to it. Yeah, Let yeah. me see. Now, what is the biggest show you have ever done? Uh, oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Sun City! <laughs> Now, I really want a quick law on this. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened on stage? No. 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 Uh, personally or from a, in a group? No, personally. Personally, I, I do a lot of solo shows, like Kitchen Tea's birthday bash and so on. And I was doing like a little candle a wax thing with, I took my G-string on. And I was sitting on a chair and one of those, I pushed the chair back and of course the chair fell backwards. And it was like just G-string and... You know. <laughs> 
and candles and, it was, it was, and, and things that about two songs left to go and uh, to like, get up and face the audience was very embarrassing. Oh man! Did you go red? I went very red and plus my g-string I think popped out so it was like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and when you dance it's not very, uh, you're not very, uh, you know. Mm. Let's do that whip, 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 whip! That was a very good answer. But uh, so there's one question before they go on, there's one question that I would like to do. How okay. do you get your bodies like this guys? I've been trying man. Uh, 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 lots and lots and lots of Iwiza. Iwiza? Yeah. What? No, but this is what it does to me. <laughs> yeah, but you, but you must be cooking it wrong, eh? And no, I, maybe. The, uh, somebody else said it's the shirts I buy. The shape of the shirt. Too much patla patla. Patla patla. <laughs> Plenty of patla patla. With that in Tondo. Too much. Uh, um, um, I have a question for you guys. Are you, do you shave or do you wax? Because, <laughs> shave. Uh, I, think, I think it varies between from guy to guy. I think mainly we, we shave um, because waxing, besides it being painful, <laughs> we wet, eh? But um, I think it was like, like from, from, from my point of view, a lot of um, rashes and so on, so I prefer, prefer to shave. Oh, okay. Because I'm okay, thinking I'm just, the whole You can take yeah. your tips from these uh, men, really. I've now felt this stuff. Can I ask the winner? <laughs> and the winner is... <laughs> Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. What phone is this what now? What phone is that? Oh, city. Let's hold. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, it's my phone call. Yeah, it's your phone. Hello? Hey, hey, Norm, Norm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Tell Norm we are live. No. No, no. Mm-mm. -mm. Okay. Shut Bye. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Norman just called me, he's got trouble. He, he doesn't want us to give away his shoes. Uh, and he's well, really upset. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Well, uh, uh, since there's no uh, prize, I, I think that is the end of it. But thank you very much. Thank you very much. They will take um, some more clothes and perform and juggle and everything later. But right now, let's give them a hand. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Wow, Gail. This looks very good. Here it really does look good. Um, By the way, we were making a classic combo sandwich. <laughs> and our ingredients here, we had some uh, Portuguese bread, cottage cheese, mushrooms, cream cheese, spring onions, mayonnaise, cheddar cheese, and mozzarella. But now, That's right. What is the... So now, I'm worried about the spring, you know, what you call the spring onions. Don't they make your breath smell a little on the other side? Uh, not really, because you're not putting too much on. Um, if you had to load it, I think it would yeah. be a problem. But and then how would you cure that? You um, know, like if you had this for lunch and you still had to go to a business meeting with somebody, what would be your quickest way of getting rid of the smell? Uh, maybe you would parsley, need drink, to parsley? have some parsley, have Does some... Does it help though? Does it really help? They say it helps. They say it helps. I don't know if it helps or not. But <laughs> All right. otherwise you could have some uh, mouthwash or something like that. Yeah, some a nice mint. Them. Tell me now, so, what other variants can you do of this dish? Or like, or like what else can you put on there? Okay, yeah. you could put, like I said, in place of the bacon, you could put asparagus. That's right. You could put um, spinach, you could put peppers. Right. You could actually put whatever you wanted to, to make a, a nice combination. Right. The, the thing is that you have to warm the ingredients first, because if you just okay. put cold ingredients and the cheese on top and under the grill, only the cheese warms up, okay. and then it's not so... So Ooh. pleasant. This looks um, I'm gonna get so, to there we are. Would, Would like you to, like to taste yeah, some? Yeah, I'd really love to. Would you want to cut this Shall for we us? Cut? But this looks very exciting. A classic combo sandwich, as I said. Portuguese bread, ma bacon, mushrooms, cream cheese, spring onions, mayonnaise, cheddar cheese, and mozzarella. There we are. Again, this looks... Ooh, this looks exciting. Anyway... This is Thank a nice filling meal. To nice have. filling meal. Mm. Thank you so much for being on the show once it's again. A pleasure. You know, you're always welcome. This is your second home, I guess. Uh, it is. And uh, let's find out what Trace is up to. You know, okay. it looks like we're going to be Oy, boogieing. <laughs> yeah, she's salivating. Trace, <laughs> are you ready, doll? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm setting up all these tribal looking beautiful men. But first, we have to thank everyone. Yes, I'd like to thank our new sensation, our Bafana Bafana Makluk Kluk man. Abram, thank you very much for coming to the show. Basadi, friend, and Mabato, um, thank you for coming. Clive Johnson, thank you very much. 
Hey, Sasha Bong, I'm fair too for coming again. Tell me so you know you're my brother. Come again. Well then, thank you very much for playing with us. And Trace, what's up for tomorrow? Though? Tomorrow, we've got National Under 15 Cricket Squad coming our way. We've got a new cooking show on ETV. Barry Dean, the man, he is coming in. And of course, BBK. BBK is here tomorrow. Yeah. Um, now, I am keeping you in suspense. You have seen them. The men from Ecstasy, beautiful, waxed, tanned and oil. I believe they are almost ready. Are it's we going to give them a countdown? Let's ten, go. 10, nine, 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 eight, eight seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it away!